So in a previous lesson, we talked about proportions and we talked about means and extremes. In this lesson, we're going to talk about similarity and right triangles. And similarity and right triangles is going to refer to the means. So let's, let's go back to that idea, that concept. In a given proportion, the terms in red, so these terms in red are called the means. So X and Y are the means of this proportion. If X and Y happen to be the same value, so if the means are the same. So I'm given a proportion, A over X is equal to X over B. So the means are the X's. A, B, and X are positive numbers, that's very important then X is called the geometric mean between A and B. So the means, let's go back, the means are the values in the position of X and Y in this original proportion. If I'm given a proportion where I have all positive values and I have A over X is equal to X over B, then X is called the geometric mean between A and B. So we're gonna find, let me give you an example, we're gonna find the geometric mean between five and 11. The geometric mean between five and 11. So the geometric mean is X and that's what we need to find. Between five and 11. So we have 5 over x equals x over 11. Now I'm going to cross multiply. 5 times 11 equals x times x. That's going to give us 55 equals x squared. And then I'm going to square root both sides. Now normally when I square root both sides, I get a plus or minus, but in this case, in this case, I'm gonna use a highlighter here, we have positive numbers only. So X has to be a positive number. So we're not going to use plus or minus here. But algebraically, you normally would have a plus or minus. So X is equal to the square root of 55. Therefore, the geometric mean that they asked us to find. The geometric mean is the square root of 55. So we're gonna work a little bit with numbers, but we have a few ideas with our right triangles that we're gonna talk about first, and then we'll go back to working with some numbers. But this was a good example of what a geometric mean would be. In this next example, we're gonna talk about or it's not really an example. In this next idea, we're gonna talk about having a right triangle and drawing an altitude. So remember, an altitude, if we know what these words mean, it will make more sense. So an altitude is a perpendicular height. So that's a perpendicular height. So if the perpendicular height is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, so I know that we've got triangles here drawn for you. I'm gonna draw a new one and I'm going to model this. So I've got a right triangle. So I just made, I just made a right angle, right? And now I'm going to connect those two legs. So this is a leg, this is a leg. I'm gonna connect those two legs to give me the hypotenuse, right? So I'm going to draw an altitude to the hypotenuse. Then the two triangles form. You can see that there's two triangles formed. We've got this green one on the left and we've got the blue one on the right. And don't forget that we had the original triangle which is comprised of the green and the blue one. But the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other. And to each other. So that's what we have here. If I go back here and I label this A, B, C, and then the 
altitude creates a point D. That's where we're going to say, okay, triangle ABC, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC. So we're ending at that right angle C. So that means that my other triangles will all end with a D. So they will all end with a D. So something something D is going to be similar to something something D. Let's look at this green one. Okay, and then this one will be the blue one. I actually have them backwards, don't I? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I should have made, otherwise it's going to look different. Hmm. Let's go back and fix that. It's an easy fix for me. So we'll make that one blue. And we'll make this one green. So this one's going to be blue, and this one's going to be green. There we go. <clears throat> now when I look at the drawing that was already made for us, I'm not going to get confused. So triangle ABC is going to be similar to ACB is going to be similar to ABC. It's going to be similar to... Well, A shares with A, so those two angles are congruent to each other. And then triangle, the green triangle is going to start with a C because this triangle is going to be congruent, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. Okay. And then this angle right here is going to be congruent to this angle. So maybe that would help if I put that over here. I've got triangle angle A. <clears throat> angle A obviously is congruent to angle A, but it's also going to be congruent to this angle right here, which is this angle. And then this angle, angle ACD, is going to be congruent to DBC. It's a pretty cool thing. And then, of course, the right angles are going to line up. So in this blue triangle, we start with an A, we end with a D. That means triangle ACD is similar to triangle ABC and triangle CBD is going to be similar to triangle ABC. Now this one I would practice. I would, I would write it down again. I would just do it. If you do this just a couple times, you'll kind of get the idea of what's happening. This guy right here is just rotating. So I don't know if I could rotate. I don't know how to, to rotate, to be honest with you. But this is coming, this is rotating down, and this is rotating up. So it's just going on its it's just making a 90 degree, a 90 degree rotation. So let's draw another one and let's label it different, different things here, right? So let's, uh, hmm, a nice four letter word, M-A-T-H, M-A-T-H. Hmm. Triangle M A H is going to be similar to let's make that a right angle is going to be similar to M A H. Well let's see. A B C A B C they're doing this a little bit different. A B C I'm doing M A H. ABC is tr similar to, because they're always ending on the right angle. So we could do that too, just this first time, and then we can go back. We could 
name it differently. M H A is going to be similar to, in this case it was A C D, A C D. So this would be triangle M A T. Hmm, hmm, yeah, that's actually what I was hoping for. Mat is in, it makes a word, mat, is similar to triangle M A T. So that would be, hmm, they did C B D, right? A, they did A C B, and then they did C B D. So they're going to do A H T. A H T. So let's see. M H A. M H A. And then I'm going to practice. M A T. And then A H T. So we start with this angle and we end at the right angle. Then we start at this angle and we end at the right angle. And then we start up here where the right angle is being cut into a couple of pieces and we end at the right angle. So we end at the right angle. So let's see. Hmm. Oops, there we go. So let's see if we can just draw this. Okay, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna end at the right angle, right? And then remember, I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm going to end at the right angle. And then this one, starts all the way over here and it is also going to end at the right angle. So that right there is going to be very helpful for us when we create some geometric means between the segments. So we're going to go into that